to the internet is not a mystery. Uh, everything I'm about to tell you is data backed, scientifically driven. This is real science from actual treatment centers in the US. Uh, believe it or not, you're actually the only industry that uh, Google themselves ever did a private study on. So in 2012, they published most of these numbers. Um, but essentially, 53% of your traffic is coming from mobile devices, but 70% of treatment centers do not have a mobile version of their website still. If you're ever going to change one thing, do that. Um, there's responsive technology now that automatically resizes your website to tablets and smartphones, and it uh, makes your menus all convert to touch-sensitive menus. And you're going to find that most of your inquiries for admissions come from smartphones. Uh, among homeless Americans seeking addiction treatment, over 90% have an iPhone model 4S or newer. Obama phones. This is, a, this is a real statistic, right? So what is the one thing you would never let your loved one go without if you, were, if you cut them off, you kicked them out of your home? You're always going to pay for that lifeline. They're always going to have a phone. And these days, it's always going to be a smartphone, right? So that's where your customers are doing their research. Now, here's the mistake. Everyone, all companies and all industries, build their websites for themselves. It is pure ego. People are going to want to know my resume. People are going to want to know about our great clinical credentials. And that's not what they're looking for. They're looking to alleviate fear, find comfort, and ideally be treated with respect. So while you're building your websites for yourselves, you're not actually touching on anything your audience wants to hear, which is 66% loved ones and only 32% the addict themselves. The rest would be your own partners looking for your site. Um, so you need to be speaking to the families. You need to be speaking to the disease state of addiction, and you need to be sharing information that puts them in a comfortable position to contact you if you want your website to drive admissions. Um, and then additionally, focus on transparency as opposed to luxury. The word comfort should be your focus on your website, not amenities, not luxury, not some crazy virtual tour. Um, people just want to know if they're going to be coming to your program frequently or living with you for a long time, that it's a comfortable place to get well. Thank you.